How's it going, my friends? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. We've got DeWalt versus Flash, and yes, DeWalt managed to take down Flash today on the ladder. It's the 25th of June, and I caught this on stream. Just the tail end, I didn't see the full game, so I'm really excited to check it out with you guys here today. Of course, goes without saying, Flash is a bit rusty. He's just come back to the ladder, but it's still a huge huge accomplishment here for DeWalt to take him down and I, I really am curious to see how he managed to do it so that's what we're doing here today I usually don't tell you guys the results of the game before going into it but we're gonna try it we're gonna do something a little different here today we're just gonna be analyzing this game and after this one is done there's a bunch more games to watch uh, because DeWalt's been hitting a ton of of great korean pro players on the ladder recently he is really really high up there 2560 right now on the ladder number 86 in the total rankings probably around maybe 50 top 50 uh if you remove all the drop hackers but yeah he is doing really really well right now he's hitting a ton of strong uh, korean pros and putting out some great games so let's see what he's got here in store for us I'm very curious to see how flash plays this one out as well it looks like he's going to be going for a gasless fast expand you can see the setup is already there the CC gonna be here one uh, supply depot right there that'll give him a very nice wall to defend any sort of zealot early aggression no zealot coming out here though for DeWalt instead he's going to be going directly into a dragoon probably a 20 to 23 nexus something like that it's just a highly standard play here i'm sure he, or he didn't know that this was flash i saw it on stream um so yeah he was completely aware that he was about to play against the most legendary starcraft player of all time so you have to imagine his heart was pounding even at this early moment in the game, but he's just going to be playing it out really coolly and confidently here with no early scout at all and Flash going for the end scout. So he went top right hand corner then he went cross map back down to bottom left and now he's going to uh, come up here to the top left. So he is going to get the latest possible scout. Luckily for him, it's not a Nexus first. So... I mean, it wouldn't be that bad. Going for a, a gasless fast expand into Nexus first is really not uh, the end of the world. It's a pretty okay position for a Terran player, but here with uh, DeWalt opening super standard, going into range and just a couple of goons throwing down his Nexus. Like I said, about 22 was when he threw that down. Um, he's going to be feeling very good. You can see he's already got the SCV lead and that's going to extend here as he continues to pump out more workers. The only thing that DeWalt can really do from this position is send his Dragoon over here to harass the bunker once he's got the range upgrade finished. Can put a lot of damage on that and force out a lot of repair time because the factory here is quite late. Now, I only see one factory, so... I'm imagining we might have a starport coming up here pretty soon. There, That could indeed be the play. A starport seems likely at this point. And the second gas is really quick here from Flash. I'm going to go ahead and saturate that natural now. DeWalt, will he be grabbing a quick fourth or the quick third here? Excuse me, not fourth. Quick third to try and make up this deficit. Or will he just continue to pump Dragoons, get into a robotics facility? Yeah, there's that Robo. So he's going to try to put on a little bit of pressure here. Try to get some compensation uh, for this very economic play, which Flash has gone to here. He is just trying to eke out as many SCVs as he can. Get himself a really nice lead going forward. And DeWalt, it's up to him to punish that in any way that he can range just now finishes and he denies the scout here so flash is not going to know that there was uh, a robo thrown down before another nexus uh, and that there will be 
Wait, are we going Reaver here? No, just obs Observer for now. So, fast Observer? I'm not... I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was actually going to be right into Reaver play so that he could get in there and deal some damage, but he's just going to get Observer here and get that Nexus out. Very, very relaxed play here from DeWalt. This is not really going to put on too much pressure. He does force a lot of repairing, but he won't really get more than that. I'm... I, I mean, from this position, I'm a little worried for him. I know the result, the end result of this game, so it's it's kind of shocking to me how this has gone a little bit wrong here in the early game. You can see SCV advantage here still. Double expansion right now for DeWalt. Is he just going to completely get away with this? Certainly, Flash would be looking to pressure. He's making two Goliaths right now. There's the first scan. He sees the main. He only sees two gateways. This is such a greedy fourth base. Two gateways right into fourth here. But Flash can't really punish. He's only got two factories of his own. He doesn't really know if there's Reavers or anything out. He's got to be careful here. He starts a third command center. This makes sense. He's going to try and take... A third CC, maybe on as little as two to three factories. Uh, while his opponent just has so much economy rolling here. And very, very little production. It'd be hard for him to deny that. Starport starts. Uh, right around the time. Right around the perfect time here. Oh, Observer does go down. Perfect time here for that Starport to start as... Uh, as soon as that's done, he can start the science facility, and then he'll have uh, it done in time to start that next base. Oh my god, another base? Holy. Absolutely insane. We just went one, two, three expansions here. We're going straight to five base on two gateways. There's two more inside the main, I guess. So four gateways. Even four gateways is pretty crazy. But there is another base over here. What a wild man, DeWalt. That is nutty, bro. Oh, turning off all the, the cameras here. I just meant to get rid of DeWalt's vision for a second so we could see where that scan was. But it seems like he's not scanning bases right now. He's just scanning for observers. Any delay to this is gold right now because DeWalt, he doesn't want to take this fight at all. He really does not want to fight here. He is just pretending that he wants to delay this. If everything on Siege and just came forward, I think DeWalt would run for it. Yeah, he is just going to back off here, not take any damage on these Dragoons. And allow Flash to take this base. It's 8 minute 30, which seems to be a very early base. But if you're looking at it from DeWalt's perspective, I mean, he's taken so many bases here. He, he is completely happy with the position now that uh, he's been given here by Flash. Flash is... Again, he took a third on three factories. Which is insane. That is so few factories, but... He's still getting a really good trade here. I mean, DeWalt is just... He's getting away with so much. He's getting away with murder right now. More gateways being added on. Some drop ships being sent out here. Some shuttles being sent out. I don't think he can engage this right now. Just waiting for more and more gateways to finish is probably going to be the play. No vultures out so far. The, these are the first two vultures we've had. And we're only halfway done speed. Another command center starts. He's going to go for a fourth right away. I heard another scan, but I'm not sure where it was. Fourth base going to be on the way here for Flash. And... You know, as much as it makes sense and it's really good for DeWalt to have five bases already, is it going to be okay just allowing... Whoa, I guess he tried to fly in there, but didn't end up working out. That's a lot of turrets. Is he going to be okay with Flash having four bases? Is that going to be... Uh, like, is he going to be happy with that? That's tough, man. Flash, his macro is insane. And he's going to be hitting really good upgrade timing here. We're at like almost 11 minutes. And the fourth 
CC is almost done. That's usually when you take the third CC for reference here, guys. 11 minutes is like the latest timing you want to take a third CC. If your opponent is pressuring you a lot, you still want to get that CC by 11 minutes. But here, he's already about to get his fourth. So that's just letting you know the curve of this game, how far ahead we are from where we'd normally be. So many gates coming up. Double robotics facility here. He's coming forward, dealing with a few of these mines. We've got some vision here. Unfortunately, that's going to be uh, taken down. But he's diving in on top of this, dropping some zealots on top of the tanks right now. Uh, going to go for a big reaver shot here right in the middle. Second reaver shot does connect. That kills a bunch of tanks. He's just pushing forward right now. Dragoons just going to maybe target this command center if they can. Zealots getting on top of the tanks here. Uh, tank fire actually killing a lot of these SCVs as well. He's going to target down the CC. And that is going to fall. A great attack here by DeWalt. Just diving on top of tanks. Uh, Flash's army here of tanks and cleaning out a lot of them. And he's coming in with another drop right here as the army starts to get cleared. And oh my god, is he actually going to do it? Is he going to break through here? Flash's army just getting crunched right now so many tanks getting taken out he's diving straight ahead on top of all of this this is wild that he was able to break flash on three bases here right as he's trying to take his fourth he didn't really have a lot of tanks over there but he didn't have the perfect setup either and that's it gg wow dewalt slaps down flash of all people flash not getting the scouting necessary to figure out that this was happening, that so many Nexi were being taken, and DeWalt was just powering into an insane mid-game here. And this, this is really what it is. It's mid-game right now. 12 minutes in, we've got five bases and huge amounts of rallies of two robotics facility uh, shuttles coming through and just masses of Zealots and Dragoons break through flash that's crazy wow i'm really impressed with dewalt right now but gg is called and we've got a few more games to go next up is going to be versus shine he played this just a couple of games later so we're going to jump right on into that game all right our second game here with dewalt versus shine shine down here spawning in the bottom right DeWalt in the top right. This is Blitz Y. And guys, if you don't know who DeWalt is, if you haven't heard the news, he is one of the strongest Protoss players. And one of the strongest foreign Brood War players that we have. And one of our great hopes for a potential run in the ASL for a foreigner. He's been in and out of Korea for a few years now. Practicing. Uh, getting prepared, trying to uh, make it through those qualifiers. It's tough. Very, very tough, though. Hasn't quite managed to make it through just yet, but I hopes for the future for this man. And after taking out Flash, you got to admit he's looking very strong. Let's see how he does against Shine here, who is a seasoned veteran. The old ASL what was it called? Viewer? No, what's it called? Observer. That's right. And a second place uh, finalist of ASL in the past. He has re resolved to play a lot more macro-centric lately. He's not nearly as cheesy as he used to be when he had that long ASL run. He's no longer Mr. Bag of Builds. He is now a more refined and cultured player going into this game. I'm expecting to see a, a very macro-centric play here out of Shine. Nothing too crazy. Just some solid, solid macro play. That's how he likes to play on the ladder anyway. Uh, he has been playing that way in ASL as well, but maybe he's you know hiding those really cheesy builds for longer series that he might have in the future doesn't want to give away all of his tricks uh, too early here and look at this being very greedy here 
We had the forge first into a nexus, into a gateway. Still no cannon at that natural. Pretty crazy to not even throw down a cannon here. DeWalt just being really, really greedy. And Shine not making any lings at all. Just pure drone production. Really quite wild here. We're going to have the cannon finally start here at the natural. As the gas comes up. See a cybernetic score here shortly. But let's just watch the timing on the Corsair. Because I think it's going to be insanely quick. In this game. Layer's already on the way. About to throw down the cyber core. Probes already mining in the natural. 21 probes total. Full six workers ahead of his opponent. Doesn't mean too much in the early game of PvZ, but... A lot of corners have been cut here by DeWalt. Cybercore, there it is. Nothing out of the ordinary here for Shine, aside from the fact that he hasn't built even a single pair of lings here. Finally going to start two pairs right as the Zealot's coming across the map. But he has cut some serious corners here. Let's see if he gets punished by this Zealot. It's probably going to get behind the mineral patches. Almost no doubt in my mind that that will occur. Probe plus Zealot here. A pretty scary combination. Going to go after another drone. Can he get it? He does. Loses the probe but gets a drone kill with that probe. Pretty worth it here right now. Could go after this drone right there. Going behind the minerals. Kind of silly there. Going after another drone. Oh, almost gets that one as well. Got a lot of low HP drones in this mineral line. Unfortunately, going to take a trade with uh, two lings attacking. Able to attack. So he will lose that first zealot. But can he get another drone kill? Oh my god. There's so many low health drones here. The Zealot is going to start to run into the main. More Lings hatch out. And there's the Spire on the way. The Sargate is done. The Corsair is on the way. It's going to be popping out here really nice and fast. Looks like we're at about 530. We're going to see that. Citadel coming out here. Some reasonable harassment. And in the moment that he sees a good number of Lings out on the field, he's just going to pull back into that wall and be nice and safe. Checking over here. Shine, looking all over the map, making sure there's not one more Zealot just going to wander into the third. This is something that I really struggle with personally in my own play, is making sure that there's not that extra Zealot coming in. Just being uh, a little bit extra careful because I will usually send my Lings somewhere um, on the map. Maybe I'll send one Ling to the front. I'll leave most of my Lings here. Maybe send a few Lings over here. And then a Zealot walks in. If I don't have enough Lings right there at the right moment, we can end up losing some drones. It's very, very painful. Some Scourge are going to pop out here shortly. He's checking out the build right now. He sees extra hatches added on. And Hydralis Den over there at the bottom left. Evolution Chamber here. It's looking like a solid macro play out of Shine. No surprise there the corsair may end up getting picked off here that's uh, gonna be a desperate struggle can he actually keep this alive pretty good dodging thus far but really good control here by shine tracking down that corsair managing to get those connections the corsair is a really slippery unit and scourge are very very bad uh with their overall um pathing Sometimes it can be absolutely horrible. So doing a jo good job making that connect. But a few lings going down here. Five kills on this Templar already. Dark Templar going to get out on the map now. Look for some opportunities. But overlords are in position everywhere. And overlord speed is nearly complete. Back at home just getting rid of the eggs. So that dragoons can increment out here properly. Not going to find anything, looks like, with this DT. The egg block here between the sunken colony and the hatch is very nice. This looks like a great position, actually. 
I haven't seen this before, I don't think, but this this is really, really nice. Look at how the egg blocks in between the sunken and the hatch. I think this still might be passable. I'm not sure, though, uh, with zealots, if you can run by on the left-hand side of this. Zealots are out on the field now. Going to be heading down to the bottom left to attempt some harassment. Scourge here, just move command onto these zealots. Going to be following them along. As the DT tries to slip in. You're going to be looking for an opportunity here. You can run right by a sunken colony, by the way. One sunken colony will not stop the DT from just running into the main in this case. You need more than that. You need hydras here as well. So he has a good clump of hydras. And he's got armor for air coming up here. He, we might be seeing a switch back into Muta pretty soon. That is a serious possibility. Scourge here going to get pushed back. More gateways being added on. Let's see the overall gateway count. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So up to that very typical, very standard eight gateways here. He's going to be able to pump out a massive army to contend with this six hatch hydra play that's coming from Shine. Shine adding on a bunch of overlords here because he's a little bit supply blocked right now. Not quite just yet, but... Adding on five overloads right now is a little bit funny. Getting prepared for this massive wave of Hydra to start to hit the field. Meanwhile, moving across the map right now. This is a scary army here for DeWalt, but running by right now. Hydras are getting kind of in a silly position here. What are these doing? All right, he's going to try and trade with some Dragoons here on the top side. He's got to be careful, though. If he comes back this way, he's going to get stormed to death. Great storm there in the middle. It does lose the Templar, though. Some of these Dragoons are going to go down as well. The Hydras are moving northward. Get another Dragoon for free. This turned out to be a pretty decent trade overall for Shine. Meanwhile, Muta's here. Over by the Natural. They're going to dive on top of the Templar. Cast a storm on himself. Loses the Templar and the second... This is starting to look pretty bad for DeWalt. He's stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Muta's on the south side. Hydra's on the north. He does bring the Zealots up to the front to tank some damage so the Dragoons can do their job. And the Corsairs deal a lot of splash to these Mutas. So will he be able to hold here? One Sunken Colony going to help out a lot right now. Tank some damage while the Hydra's come into the back line. Jumping on top of these Dragoons. A little bit unfortunate here for DeWalt. He would like to have Zealots to tank for these, but now the Zealots are going to get targeted down here by the Mutas and Hydras. Going to work on these drones to do the best he can with the opportunities given. More Hydras coming out here. More Zealots coming into the fray as well. It's just all macro pouring forward here from DeWalt. He's trying to push forward, but... He will be slowly shoved back here with seven more Hydras on the way. Oh, the storm at the 11th hour here, managing to pick off a bunch of Hydras. And was this an overextension by Shine? He's been pushed all the way back into his natural. He's got two more Sunkins to work with. So maybe he can hold from here. Do we have a storm ready? No, we do not. So he can just clump up next to these Sunken Colonies and not worry too much about that storm. Diving on top of the Templar, he picks that off and shoves back DeWalt one more time very low on the gas right now he hasn't put his uh, drones back into gas on the natural as you can see he has 800 minerals almost no gas here finally recognizes that his mistake will start to resaturate that gas that can really hurt you uh, very badly in this matchup if you just don't mind your gas for a little while you can fall deeply behind the curve uh especially with the tech right if you're trying to hit a, a moment here when you have like you need a, a critical mass of lurkers what i'm trying to say and if you just can't oh my goodness sniping a few templar all right i'll finish that thought in a second does get a couple of templar here very nicely done and there's actually no templar over at the third base to defend zealots taking trades with the hydras but it looks like the hydras are going to win that fight Zealot's just going to kind of rotate around here, but this is an impossible position to break open with just pure Zealot, uh, especially in such a low number. And Shine is going to take a fresh base here. 
over at this location. Now, what I was trying to say just a moment ago is I don't even remember, actually. I totally lost my train of thought. We've got a fourth base up here in the high ground, a third here for DeWalt as well. A few cannons being layered on here. Ah, right, the gas. That's right. So there's like a critical mass of lurkers that you need to stop a Protoss army. And if you're not mining your gas for just a short period of time, you might not be able to hit that critical mass before Protoss is ready to push. So that can desperately hurt you. It can force you into too many lings too early on. And it's not a position that you want to be in. You want to be able to pump out enough lurkers to hold back the Protoss, to hold certain key positions on the map, especially this map, where this high ground and this high ground are so important. Also, snagging this high ground here can be very good, but looks like Shine's not interested, interested in that at all. Mutilus being pumped out here right now. Masses of Mutilus coming. A DT starts. I think this is going to be for Dark Temp or Dark Archon, excuse me. So, catching on to this, that Shine is in a mutilous mood here. He's going to immediately start to add on Dark Archons. But she doesn't have the Maelstrom tech just yet. But that's going to be on the way here soon. Starting to mine here at the third base. Gathering together a pretty significant army. But Shine now starting to saturate this fourth and he's going for a fifth at the same time so his worker count is looking very very healthy and dt will come in and gets instantly destroyed who is going to take this game i would say it's anybody's game to win right now if we get a great maelstrom on some of these mutas it might be an easy victory for dewalt if the Mutas kill all of the Templar. It could be a straightforward victory for Shine as well. But it could also become a very scrappy game. If neither player takes the engagement perfectly, we could see this game, th this map getting split totally in half. Could be really, really long. Similar to the maps that we saw in ASL with Snow versus, I believe it was Hero. No, Soul Key. Snow versus Soul Key. Where we had this map completely split in half with both players fighting over the center left and these uh, island bases here. But that's not quite where we're at right now. We're still at the uh, big army phase for the Protoss. We're not at the defensive phase just yet. We're not at uh, defend with Reavers and Templar and just have lots of cannons that phase of the game. We're at the phase where it's possible still for Shine to push, and we don't have a Hive here, which is a little bit shocking, actually. No Hive at 1550, and no Queen's Nest either. Here comes the Mutas. Mutas trying to fly in here, going after the Templar. Will throw down a Maelstrom. Okay, Maelstrom catches, but a lot of units are underneath with this, including, I think, some Templars. So he's not going to throw down the Storms on that. He's just going to use the Dragoons to kill a lot of these Mutas. And throw the storms on the Templar. I'm trying to catch the entirety of this fight in one screen. But there it is. Shine definitely not able to do the same thing. He's flitting back and forth here. But he allows a massive storm to ruin his day. So many Hydras went down on this left-hand side. Some Templar are getting sniped. And more Hydras are coming up to assist. Another Templar goes down. Now Shine fighting down from the high ground. Do we have any more storms? No, but Zealots are coming up from the rally point and clearing out these Hydras. A great rally, great macro here so far from DeWalt. Just hanging on. Whereas Shine's starting to slip a little bit. He's controlling a lot right now, and a counterattack is coming across the map. Holding here on the this ramp. More units are going to come up to try and assist. We will have a storm here in a moment. Meanwhile, DeWalt pushing over towards this mineral only can he break this he's got a critical mass of dragoons right now and shine not fighting from the high ground could be a massive difference maker looks like three kills on that templar he must have gotten a good storm down and he is going to break through onto this for uh, fifth base but still four bases here for shine nine more mutas going to be made what a mad game here 
He's really going to make nine more mutas during this chaos and try to use them to uh, kill some Templar, to snipe some Templar so he can pure Hydra his way to victory. Storms are coming up here. Gets a great storm there on the high ground. A bunch of these Hydras do explode. And meanwhile, Templar Zealots making their way over here to the fourth base. He's going to break both these bases and shine with the constant counterattacks coming across the map is not gonna have enough back at home to save this he's dropping down to three bases i think that dewalt may have this the fourth base is finished he's gonna be able to saturate that just in time too because he's run out of minerals that is main and natural meanwhile Shrine trying to come across the map here his mutas are gonna get caught in the middle we've got a few rallies here over at the fourth some storm is available one hydra over here some mutas making their way over towards this base he loses the templar his whole army is a little bit out of position right now and shine is making some headway we're gonna go after the nexus here nexus is getting kind of low going after the templar too wow that's so many templar that could go down one two three four Five. Oh, he makes an Archon. Nicely done. Making that Archon just in time. The CC went... Or the... Not the CC. The Nexus went down. Oh, my goodness. Flying through here. A bunch of Dragoons. Taking a lot of pot shots. Taking out quite a few of these Mutas. So, a lot of trading back and forth here. DeWalt relegated to just one base mining for a bit. But the same can almost be said about Shine here, who has hardly any mining going on at the moment. Trying to dive on some Templar with no mutas. There's just two mutas here. It's going to take a long time to pick off any of those. And DeWalt able to save that while taking another base here in the top left. If he gets this base online, I think it's going to be game over. Meanwhile, an attack across uh, the catwalk here. Storms are going to be super effective against this. But does he have enough storms here? Ooh, that's a great storm there. Archon doing awesome work against these mutas as well. No more storm here. Attack coming in towards this natural. Do we have more storm coming from the low ground? Not quite yet, but DTs are doing their work. GG is called. Shine taps out. And DeWalt takes another victory here. Wow, that's craziness. I can't believe that Shine just didn't want to make Lurkers here. He never made Lurkers. He never made Hive. He almost made it work without either of those, but sticking completely on Layer Tech here, it turned out to not work out in his favor. Plus two, plus three for DeWalt. Totally trumping the zero zero here of Shine. It's got no... Oh, wait. Hold on. I forgot that the upgrades disappear when the game ends. 2-1. 2-1 Shine. Oh, he did start Lurker. <laughs> he started Lurker at the 19-minute mark. That is shocking. I guess he was going to do a, a full-on counterattack and then defend back at home with Lurkers, but... They just didn't come into play in time. I thought he had ar he, he definitely had armor on his mutas, right? Yeah, he had ar uh, muta armor. So, yes. Crazy game there, guys. Absolutely nuts. So much going on. Uh, so many counterattacks and cr crazy, crazy plays on both sides. Even the Dark Archon making uh, it onto the field there. Getting a Maelstrom on a huge group of Mutas, making it really hard for uh, the Snipes to come through. And DeWalt takes another victory. Really awesome to watch. Great game here. We're going to jump into DeWalt versus Scan. It's coming up next. Here we go. Scan spawning here in the top right hand corner. DeWalt in the bottom right. Putting up some great games today. I'm going to put his link down in the description below. You can go watch him on Twitch. Apparently, he's in Korea right now, just practicing up a storm. Whenever he goes to Korea, he's he streams like an absolute monster. He has a baby back at home. 
So I guess he, you know, he can't put in as many hours, but whenever he comes to Korea for a extended period of time for a training session, he puts in a lot of time, like multiple streams per day, you know, six, eight hours per stream uh, a lot of the time. So he's just banging out games like crazy, you know, 10, 12 hours a day. And you can check him out, support him if you like what he's trying to do, which is get a foreigner into the ASL. It's a monumental task, but he is our best shot at it. Scan here. He's looking to get in the ASL as well, of course. Uh, maybe we're going to be competing in ACS this season. The Africa Challenger Series. I guess it's going to be the SCS now, the Soup Challenger Series. Maybe that will be the case with that name change coming right around the corner. It's going to be an interesting season coming up here. Flash, of course, might be playing as well. Who knows what can happen? There's so many interesting changes that are coming up here. Maybe this is the season for DeWalt. Maybe he can make it in. If he does, I might have to fly to Korea just to watch him play on stage. That would be craziness. It would be absolutely sick. So, air weapons here on the way. Trying to fake out scan here. Making it look like, hey, I'm, uh, you know, getting, getting range here. Better watch out. It's going to be a range build. When in fact, not the case. It's going to be canceling that the moment that the SCV is out here. Throws down his Nexus. And let's see. Must be a Robo or is it going to be DT? I haven't seen that tech just yet. I'm surprised that he sent that Dragoon so far out on the map. Because you really do want to block. Make sure that he doesn't come in now. And you're not going to be able to do anything against this bunker. I guess he doesn't know that there's a bunker there. He didn't come in and see that there is a CC, which is a really important scout. But here comes the SEV. I'm going to run right up into the main here. Okay, just starts the, the range. I'm going to start that a little bit late. So, I guess this was simply a faster Nexus. He faked the range being built just to get the Nexus out quicker. Um, I don't know how worth it that is. Protoss players, let me know in the comments down below if you think that that's worth it or not. I'd like to hear you guys because this is not my matchup. Robotics here on the way. That Nexus is going to finish up well ahead of the command center here, but think scan is going to be feeling okay here knowing that he's not under any threat since he got that scv into the main uh, multiple times he got lots of information there he's not forced to do anything like build an engineering bay right now or an academy that he doesn't want instead very content to just go for two factories keep on pumping away those scvs and uh we'll see what his follow-up is from there no, no, there's the observatory. No support bay just yet. So Reaver, it's on the table, but it's not out here um, as of yet. Just two gateways. We're going to see him take a bunch of bases again. That is possible. A little factory. The observer is going to be sent out in just a moment. Probe coming up to the third. Oh no, he's gonna send that across the map? Okay. Maybe gonna build a pylon perhaps over here? Or some information? Moving out now with the Marines and tanks. Probing push here, three tank push. Very standard stuff from Scan. Gonna go out and get some information here as to what is coming from DeWalt. But DeWalt has four five six dragoons six dragoons is a pretty good number to shut this down especially coming up a ramp like this it's gonna be tough 
Beach tech is done. Observer's right over top of this army. Dragon's gonna come down to the low ground here, pulling back the dragons that are injured. A really good job of backing up here and taking this fight. Mines are gonna get thrown down, but maybe he can jump on top of a tank here. Does lose one dragon. No tanks get injured here. Everything just gonna back off. And uh, DeWalt gonna push him right back home. Vultures will be able to get out on the map. But I think we're gonna see a third CC or a third Nexus taken immediately here. Good standard play so far on both sides. I think DeWalt taking a little bit of a better trade, but that kind of makes up for it there. Letting the Dragoons run into tank range is a little bit painful. Don't have anything here in the natural just yet. Doesn't pull a probe to block this either. Just bringing back the Dragoons here to clear out these uh, vultures and mines. Speed is on the way. A Dark Templar drop is going to be the follow-up here. Do we have anything to detect? I don't really see it. Academy has started, but this is still a ways away here. Arbiter Tribunal will be the follow-up. So DT drop in Arbiter. It's going to be DeWalt focusing on denial of vision as his main form of defense and aggression. The fact that these DTs will force out all scans that are going to be coming down here. Okay, he does get a turret in the main. That's important. If he didn't have a turret here, we could see a lot of damage go down. As it stands, a third base is going to come up here at 8 minutes. And I think that uh, scan's going to be okay for now. Let's see what this drop can do. I doubt it'll be anything too significant as the scans finish up here in the main. Maybe we can drop and start to harass stuff here. Maybe we can even go after the missile turret. I'm not sure. Observer does go down. Here comes that drop. He's going to see it. Mines being laid. Going right in towards that turret. Nice pickup there. Hot pickup. Another turret here. Really good defense from Scan. Unlikely to take any damage right now. Dropping the DT finally. Start to hit the armory. He's ready to pick up the moment that the Scan comes down. There it is. Does sneak back into that drop. Threatening the armory a little bit. Going up now towards the top right. The lights are finally out though. So this has a clock on it. Can't be sick, sticking around here for too much longer. Maybe go for an SCV or two. Gotta get something. Okay. One goes down. The other does manage to survive. That Goliath having a hard time getting on top of this. Shuttle going to go back into the main. Maybe you can just drop in the mineral line. Get a couple more kills. Going after this supply depot for now. We've got... We've got the uh, scan. There it is. Scan. Going to go down here. Kills the Goliath, but that's all he can get. So not the greatest amount of damage here, but it wasn't really meant to do that. What it was meant to do was force out a lot of scans and take up a lot of attention. I think it's done that reasonably effectively here. The problem for scan now is as he moves out, he's not going to have a stable source of detection. He has to keep building turrets and scanning to make sure that he doesn't lose vision long enough for one of those, a DT to get in and kill one of those turrets or the arbiters to push forward a bunch of zealots and get on top of the tank. So you have to be really careful with the way he moves out. He's got 80 energy here and 35 over here. Another one with 100 at the third base. So he has quite a few scans right now. You can see he's being very diligent adding on more uh, turrets. Four base here for DeWalt. Three base for scan. He'll likely be moving to take this base here rather soon. More and more factories getting added on. We have the science facility and plus two starts. 11 minutes. We've just crossed that line. 
no extra bases just yet here for dewalt no fifth but he's moving into position to start to try and take that dragons here eating a little extra damage there's the fifth base over here at the mineral only it's fine to take a mineral only here as a protoss player what you really need is more gateways uh, and more zealots so just go ahead and put that down we'll get mining on that pretty soon here next order of business though is to take another main base and set up more uh, rally points That was a pretty big mine. A lot of damage on some of these zealots. If this was the plan here for DeWalt to actually break the third, it might be a little bit hard after eating all that damage. That's a very good spread here for Scan. I might think twice about diving in on this because that hat is a very good spread. Will we get any stasis here? It's, they're not going to be great. One tank in that stasis. And Zealots are getting eaten up. This is not going very well here for DeWalt. DeWalt going to come forward. Try to get another stasis. Can he get a good one? Right there, maybe? Okay, he gets these two in the back. Another round of Zealots makes its way forward. Pretty good connection on these tanks, honestly. Not bad at all. And actually, you know what? Wow, the Walt is maybe gonna break this. This is crazy. Very well done here. Very best esque. Putting the uh, square peg through the round hole here and sending just waves of zealots. Really well done. The reinforcement train is gonna continue to push forward here. He's got lots of money in the bank. He just spent a ton on dragoons. 10 dragoons on the way. As all of this gets cleaned up, and we'll be remaxing quickly. Wow, 90 supply left here for Scan to the 128 of DeWalt. He's forced this back. Hasn't quite transferred probes over here to the newly established fifth base, but he denied the third mining for quite some time. It'll be up to Scan now to expand. I don't think he's going to be able to do any sort of push here. But he does need to get out on the map and get another expansion up pretty soon. He's running low on minerals in his main and natural. Do not want to be on just one base. When Protoss gets up here to five, six bases, it gets really, really hard to handle. A lot of probes are going to go down right here, but still, 67 workers remain for DeWalt. Plenty of income for this Protoss player to pump away at all these different gateways. He has not established another main base though. So keep that in mind. Only two cannons over here as well. This could be taken out by a big chunk of vultures. It's vulture time right now for uh, Scan. He can't really take a big fight at the moment. It's not like he can push. So he's relegated to just sending vultures around the map. Coming in here. Another drop gonna land on top of this great target there by scan that is a game changer right there The fact that he was able to target that before zealots got dropped on top of these tanks is massive trying to drag Using zealots to drag mines into these tanks and goliaths pretty well done here, but immediately Scan gonna move to the center right to start taking the space as I said critical that he gets this fourth online here Oh no, a bunch of units running in for DeWalt. This is not looking good. I think that was a uh, mistake there. Those were not supposed to be pushing in. They got baited by an SCV or something. And, well, DeWalt's going to try and break this side. There's not a lot of tanks over here just yet. Looks like he's going to get in here and do a pretty good job clearing this. Dragoons on the low ground will get taken out. Zealots here on the high ground. Not the most effective against this primarily Vulture army. But maybe with some more Dragoons coming up, he can force this back. And he will. He will force this back. Really impressive stuff here. DeWalt, again, not really expanding. Not getting into the next stages here. But nice stasis. 
Gonna connect on a lot of this. Does he have a drop? Oh, he does! Oh, that was such a big mine. That mine was massive. He killed like five vultures there. With the single mine drag. That shuttle coming in clutch and... Scan gonna immediately try to take this, but he is spread very thin. Three tanks, four tanks over here. Four tanks over here is all he can muster right now. So it's clearing this area. As a probe makes its way to the bottom left. Plenty of money available for DeWalt to remax this army. 170 supply to 120. It's not at all safe right now on the map for scan we have to see him sit back for a very long time play it really really carefully here Ooh, that storm killing a lot of workers here another storm could come through in just a moment looks like the scvs get pulled in time this arbiter likely to go down it does go down unfortunately with uh enough energy for either a recall or a stasis there but we'll get neither Man center is getting kind of low. Only five dragons hitting it for now. But looks like he might just barely be able to take it out. This is a big moment. The CC goes down. Huge, huge kill there. Scan needed that base because look at his main and natural. 100 minerals. 36 minerals on this patch. And DeWalt just going to keep the pressure on. Sending in more and more zealots. Breaking through or almost breaking through here. Scan responds by bringing down his army. But he's losing more tanks. And DeWalt is quickly remaxing once again. 140 supplies, a full 30 ahead. He's going to send probes down to the bottom left now. And Scan can't even think about actually harassing at the moment. He really can't. Doesn't have the luxury of his sending out vultures right now. He needs to hold. We're gonna get dragoons and zealots on top of this. A stasis comes down, but it's not the greatest stasis. Definitely not. Dragoons pushing in here to the center right. And another Templar is available. So if, for example, a bunch of units try to come up here, we could easily see a Templar drop. Uh, shut that down. A bunch of tanks are moving out on the map right now. This is a little bit crazy. Scan is going to try and take a fight. He's tired. He's sick of constantly getting harassed here. And taking L's all over the map. He's going to try and push right now. But is it the right choice? Like we are going to pick off this Arbiter pretty quickly. The Arbiter goes down. Oh man. Big storm there. Killing off a lot of those workers. But Scan's army holds. Scan's army holds. And SCVs will be transferred here. Just 49 workers left to the 70 of DeWalt. Scan going to push over here to this side. Potentially picking off this Nexus right now. Just going to transfer workers down to the bottom left. DeWalt does need to get in the way of any reinforcements to this push. Make sure that he can shut that down. Oh, a base up here at 12 o'clock. Looks like DeWalt wants to shut that down. But will Scan be able to take out his base in the bottom left at the same time? This is going to get pretty crazy here, guys. DeWalt shuts this base down. Scan going to let it go. One Templar here. He could get an amazing storm if he went for this area. Bunch of dragons falling over here, but... Reinforcements are making their way over. Try to help out here. We don't have any storms right now. Dragoons are being recalled back here. Not by the Arbiter, but by DeWalt himself. Bringing everything together so that he can maybe break this push. This base is going to be retaken here. Slowly pushing forward right now. Scan. He could easily lose this army. Here we go. Diving on top of the shuttle. The shuttle goes down so quickly there. Didn't even get a chance to check the contents of that. But Zealots will get on top of these tanks. And it looks like this push will be shut down. DeWalt secures bottom left here. Whoa! Holding hands. These two Zealots go for a run. They run twice as fast when they're holding hands.
Not a lot of minerals left in the main natural and third here for DeWalt. His fourth is running dry as well, so absolutely essential that he keeps this base alive. However, only one cannon is available here. Just one cannon is going to take a long time to kill these vultures. And there's units over here. Probes that are going to start to go down. We'll watch that in the tab. Center right is going to be taken out here. Scan bringing the full might of his army to contend with this. Zealots taking a fight on their own here. Not the greatest, but the stasis in the middle of all of this is going to change the entire game. GG is called. Scan not able to save center right, and he loses the bulk of his army. Might have been a good idea to just lift and bail out. You still had 12 o'clock scan. Set up a bunch of tanks over here and uh, try to hold out for a little longer. He was getting a lot of kills down in the bottom left. He was shutting down the economy, but DeWalt takes another game. That's three wins in a row, guys. Over three pro Korean players. It is incredibly impressive. I love to see this guy uh, develop. You guys can watch him too on his stream. Link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure and I'll see you tomorrow.